Picture this, a dark stormy night with heavy rain beating against the windows. The wind howls, stirring up a symphony of ominous whispers, while the relentless rain paints a gloomy scene. Nestled in the heart of this tempest, an isolated town sleeps, oblivious to the brewing suspense. In the midst of it all, we find Emily, a young woman with a heart full of courage. She's home alone, the only company being the rhythmic patter of raindrops against the window pane. Suddenly, a knock at the door shatters the monotony, echoing through the silence. It's an unfamiliar sound in the otherwise predictable symphony of the storm. Just as curiosity begins to stir within her, the lights flicker and succumb to the darkness. The power is out. Now, the only source of light is the occasional ghostly glow of lightning from the storm outside. With only the dim light from the storm outside, Emily decides to investigate the sudden power outage. As Emily fumbles in the darkness, the knocking on the door grows louder. A sense of dread fills the air, as the echo of the persistent knocks reverberates through the silent house. Emily's heart races faster with each knock, her hands shaking slightly as she clutches a flashlight, her only source of light in the enveloping darkness. She moves cautiously, each step towards the door feeling like an eternity. The wooden floor creaks under her weight adding to the symphony of unsettling sounds. The knocking continues now accompanied by a muffled voice from the other side of the door, a voice that sounds desperate yet oddly menacing. Mustering up her courage Emily peeks through the peephole. A man stands outside, his clothes drenched from the relentless rain, his face obscured by shadow. Questions race through Emily's mind. Who is he? What does he want? Why is he here in the middle of the night? Deciding against opening the door, Emily retreats, her instincts screaming at her that something is amiss. She dials the number for the police, her fingers trembling as she presses each digit. She reports the situation, her voice barely above a whisper, terrified that the man outside might hear her. As she waits for help to arrive, the knocking ceases. Emily breathes a sigh of relief, only to have it cut short by the sound of the man muttering to himself outside. His words are indistinguishable a low, eerie drone that sends chills down Emily's spine. She strains to listen but finds no comfort in the words, only more fear. Minutes pass, each one feeling like hours. Emily can feel the tension in the air, thick and suffocating. The muttering continues, a constant reminder of the unwanted visitor lurking just beyond her door. The rain outside seems to be mirroring her growing fear, its downpour growing more intense with each passing moment. Then the muttering stops, replaced by an eerie silence. The abrupt quiet is more terrifying than the unsettling mutterings. Emily is left in the silence, the beating of her heart the only sound in the house. The unwanted visitor's intentions remain unknown setting the stage for an unnerving night. Suddenly Emily hears a blood-curdling scream, followed by silence. The stillness that ensues is as chilling as the scream itself. Her heart pounding like a drum, Emily cowers in the darkest corner of her house, the shadows her only companions. The gloom outside mirrors the dread within her, the unseen terror becoming increasingly tangible with each passing second. The rain continues its remorseless assault on the roof, each drop a chilling reminder of the lurking terror outside. Emily's mind races, her imagination transforming the innocuous patter of raindrops into the footsteps of the unseen stranger. The wind howls, the trees groan, and the world outside seems to be conspiring to orchestrate a symphony of fear that gnaws at her sanity. As she strains her ears for any sign of the intruder, the sudden blare of sirens shatters the eerie quiet. The red and blue flashes of police lights pierce the darkness, a beacon of hope in the terrifying night. Yet their search yields nothing, no trace of the man, no evidence of his presence, save for the lingering fear that clings to Emily like a second skin. Their promises of patrolling the area and ensuring her safety do little to assuage her dread. With the departure of the police, Emily is once again left alone with her fear, isolated in her fortress that now feels more like a prison. Sleep, the sweet escape from reality, evades her. Every creak of the house, every whisper of the wind, every rustle of the leaves sends her heart into a frenzy. Her bed, once a sanctuary, now feels like a battleground, her dreams the new battlefield. She tosses and turns her mind a whirlwind of terrifying scenarios, each more horrifying than the last. Her dreams are filled with the man's mutterings, the scream and the relentless rain. Each element weaves into a nightmarish tapestry that haunts her sleep, a grim testament to the unseen terror that has forever scarred this rainy night. The dawn breaks, the storm has passed and with it, the night's terrors. Emily stirs from her restless slumber, 
her dream still echoing with the chilling events of the previous night. The morning sun dapples the room with a warmth that seems to mock the sinister memories of the storm. She gingerly steps towards the door, her heart pounding in an eerie rhythm. There on her doorstep, lies an unexpected relic of the night, a locket. Its metal surface is cold, a stark contrast to the sunbathed morning. Emily opens the locket, inside a picture of the man from her nightmares, his eyes seem to follow her, even in the stillness of the photograph. Alongside the picture, a note, four words that freeze her blood, see you next storm. As she reads the note, she hears the distant rumble of thunder, and a chill runs down her spine. In the calm after the storm, Emily was left with more questions than answers. The chilling events of the night played out like a scene from a horror movie. An unwanted visitor, a mystery man who vanished into the thin air leaving behind only an ominous note. His intentions remained as obscure as his identity. What did he want from Emily? Why did he choose a night cloaked in the sheet of rain to pay a visit? These are the questions that lingered in Emily's mind and ours. The unseen terror that lurked in the shadows of her home, the fear that gripped her heart, they all seemed too real to be brushed off as a mere nightmare. As we bid you farewell for now, we leave you with the thought that sometimes it's the unanswered questions that instill the most fear. The unknown is often more frightening than the known. Remember, sometimes the scariest stories are the ones left unfinished. Until our next tale, stay safe and keep your doors locked.